Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise today to offer an amendment that would prohibit the Department of Interior and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service from using any funds to treating the gray wolf under ESA after June 13, 2017, providing these agencies with funding to continue managing the gray wolf for ne nearly a year, more than enough time to work with states to develop and implement individual state management plans that would go into effect when federal management ends. Mr. Chairman, this is an issue of extreme importance to my, my home state of Washington, where the gray wolf is listed in the western two-thirds of the state but is delisted in the eastern third. This fragmented listing means there are no geographic barriers to prevent wolves from traveling between listed and delisted areas, posing a risk to people's lives, farming and ranching in the region. Unfortunately, this issue should already be settled. June 13th, um, 2013, the service published a proposed rule to remove the gray wolf from the list of endangered and threatened wildlife. It made this determination after evaluating the classification status of gray wolves currently listed in the contigu contiguous U.S. and found the best available scientific and commercial information indicates that currently listing, listed entity is not a valid species under the Act. The statutory purpose of ESA is to recover a species to the point where it no longer is considered endangered or threatened. The gray wolf is currently found in nearly 50 countries around the world, and the wolf specialist group at the International Union for Conservation Nature has placed the species in the category of least concern globally for risk of extinction. Mr. Chairman, the gray wolf population has grown substantially across its range and is now considered to be recovered, and therefore it no longer merits protection under ESA. However, my amendment does not delist the gray wolf, but encourages the service to move forward with its own proposed delisting rule. It restricts funding for the federal management after June 13, 2017, four years after the original delisting rule was first published, providing more than enough time for the service to finalize the rule, as well as to work with individual states to develop and implement their respective state management plans. This approach will support an orderly transition to state-level management and allow state wildlife officials to more effectively manage wolf populations, which has proven successful in states such as Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. My amendment is simple, it provides Interior and the service with an incentive to move forward with the delisting that the agency itself said is necessary and supported by best available science, evidence, and data. I urge my colleagues to support this common sense amendment, amendment and I reserve my time.